Hello everybody, this is Olivia. She's a 2009 model American Quarter Horse Mare. She has a lot of performance cow horse breeding in her bloodlines, including Hancock, but you wouldn't know it by her attitude because she is sweet and safe. She's got energy to go, but only when you ask for it. As you see, she loves being rode bareback and she's just a really safe feeling trail horse. So if that's what you're looking for, something that you can ride and be, feel safe and secure on that'll go anywhere, Olivia is the one for you. And it doesn't hurt that she's built like a show horse and she's got the color and flash to go with it. She really is a beautiful, sure-footed, all-around good horse for just about any level rider. As you can tell, she's safe around dogs, and she's good with or without other horses. We've rode her out alone a lot, and with the other with groups. She doesn't care if she's in front and back or in middle. Um, she just does just as well bareback as she does with the saddle. Full disclosure: she doesn't care to be rode double. Um, I mean, she doesn't care for it, I should say. Uh, we've only tried that once, and I could just tell it made her uneasy, so we didn't push her on it. Um, but other than that, we've never had a problem with her on a trail ride. She's never spooked for us, and she's just a very sweet-natured mare. My teenage daughter, Rebecca, enjoys working with her. She taught her this mounting trick where she can get on her from any um, object because Rebecca can't jump. So when she wants to ride bareback, the horse has to come pick her up off of something. Um, she got that from her father. She comes by it honest. I can't jump either. But she also worked with her with a tarp and with flags and just, you know, just to try to make sure we could know that we can stand behind her and that she's a good safe horse and that she's not going to be reactive to anything and olivia passed all of her lessons with flying colors Just wanted to be clear too when I said her lessons. We've been playing with her and teaching her stuff for fun, but she's been fully broke her whole life. Um, we bought her from her original owners who had her as a yearling, and they said that they spent their whole uh, family's lives trail riding her and taking her all over the state, and she's been just about everywhere, and everything they told us about her turned out to be true when we uh, started riding her. So we can't take credit for how great of a horse she is, but we have done our best to uh, keep her education coming along. And now it's time for her to uh, find her next lot in life. Good girl. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Okay. I'll just walk with you. Look.
We've recently had a tornado go through our farm. It stayed back in the back of the farm, away from all the buildings, thank God. But a lot of trails have been closed by it, and Olivia is great for picking her way through the woods and the blowdown. Um, and the, because of how much power she has, she's a very strong horse. I ride a lot of horses, and it's very notable how much power she has and how sure-footed she is, especially when it comes to getting over these type of obstacles or really steep or deep creek crossings. She has the power for just about any size rider because she's very well built and a stout horse. Cameras never do elevation justice. If you could really feel how steep these hills are, this would be a little bit more impressive of a clip, but you can kind of look at the skylines in the areas that we ride. It's very mountainous, and she is a very well-suited horse for this type of terrain. She has great stamina, and she seems to be as fresh at the end of a trail ride as at the beginning, yet she's just as calm at the beginning of a trail ride as she is at the end. Kind of the perfect combination. These videos were shot over several weeks of riding, so you'll notice in the clips that she's different colors in each of them. She still has a little bit of winter coat to shed off, but she's a deep bay roan, and she's very beautiful color. The camera hardly does it justice. Okay, it's very important that a horse can uh, be left on a trail ride and remain calm. So I'm going to follow along and let them ride off and leave me. And we're just going to stay at a walk. Easy, babe.
course, got two dogs that will not leave underneath me. You would think they would keep up with the other dogs. But no, they keep bumping into our legs. Well, I'm trying to show the camera that my horse is not buddy sour. But such is life. Maybe if I stop, ooh, the dogs will leave me. Yeah, that helps. Walk, babe. Walk. Good girl. See, she doesn't get antsy or start prancing around or hard to control. Easy. Ooh, caught a branch there. And we, we practiced where we could turn and go the other direction too and leave, plumb leave them, not ride with them. And she's fine with it. Pretty important thing to check out when you're buying a horse. How many times have you guys got to tire tracks on a trail ride that your horse won't step through? So Olivia is very good with uh, her groundwork and she's very attached to me and very sweet. I'll just show you a little bit. Oh. Get it, babe.
Okay, everybody, um, she's got shoes on. I shot her myself and I forgot to uh, film it. But she's got very good feet, nice and round. I'm no professional, but that'll do until a professional has time to shoe her. Show the back ones too. She was excellent. I mean, excellent to shoe. So she's got very good feet. They're in good shape. Take a look at these other the other side. I think I did a little better job on this side even. This this could be in a little bit. But she's very sound, very strong hoofs. Um very good um like hoof anatomy too. Very happy with her feet. This one, same story, all, there's no issues with any of them. They're very symmetrical. She was an excellent shoe, like I said. Also wanted to point out that just last month, um, we had her to the vet, had her ultrasounded, had her uterus checked out. She's sound for breeding. She's perfectly healthy. And at that time, we had her teeth done. So we had a dental float done just a few, just about a month ago. So her teeth are in excellent shape as well. I know how hard it must be to buy a horse over the internet and sight unseen. So one of the common questions that people have that I like to divulge is what's the worst thing that she's ever done. And I'm glad to report that Olivia has never done anything very bad. She's never spooked on me on a trail ride. She's never reacted to the dogs or traffics or ATVs. I would have to say the, the biggest problem I had was one time there was a really high in elevation um, walking bridge, like traffic bridge, foot bridge, not, a, not, a, not like a highway bridge, but like a foot bridge. And she refused to cross it for a moment, and I had to get pretty uh, stern with her. But she, as soon as I insisted, she went right on across it. And it, it you know, it showed me that even when she is scared, she will um, listen to her rider, and she didn't react big or anything. So she's, she's very good horse. She loads great every time. Um, we just showed one loading on the first take. She did perfect, but then we got to thinking to show you that it's not a one-time deal. I'm gonna load her three times, just as fast as I can in and out, so you can see that it's not camera trickery. <laughs> Come on, babe. I was quick. wondering what you're doing. Back up. Back up. Good girl, Olivia. She's a good girl. I'm a little dumb. <laughs>
I am generally a foxtrotter trainer, but as you can see, Olivia has some very nice gaits for a quarter horse. She can really walk out well, and she has a nice trot as well. And her trot can go very, very slow or very, very fast, kind of wherever you ask her. And wherever you put her, that's where she'll go. Because we have our own YouTube channel, some people will be viewing this through our platform instead of through the Horse Bay. The Horse Bay is the website where she is listed for sale, and because I've agreed to sell her on there, she cannot be sold um, through private party through us. So you will need to be able to register with the Horse Bay website, the link's in the description of this video, if you did not find the video through the Horse Bay. and. Um, you can also find our contact information there if you would like to come look at Olivia and take her for a test ride. Everybody's welcome to come see her before they bid, and if not, we can just talk on the phone if there is anything else you would like to know about her.